what is yoga in the true sense? Yoga is not only about physical postures or the asana. Yoga is the union of the soul with the divine. Patanjali Yoga Sutra, a treatise on the Indian yoga philosophy, is a collection of 195 aphorisms. In the second aphorism of the chapter, Vibhutipad, Sage Patanjali says, cessation of the tendencies of the mind is yoga. In Samadhi Pada, the first chapter of Patanjali Yoga Sutra, the sage has explained from aphorisms 24 to 29 that yoga or union with the divine can be attained only by chanting the divine name. What is in the universe is within, and what is within is in the universe. The introduces you to the one within you through Siddha Yoga. Meditation on Gurudev Siyag's photograph induces automatic yogic movements. Why is a lifeless photograph of Gurudev Siyag able to bring about such a phenomenon? Gurudev attained the Gayatri Siddhi in 1969 and the Krishna Siddhi in 1984. As a result of attaining these two Siddhis, Yogic movements occur automatically when meditating on his image. There are two things that a seeker needs to practice. Chanting of the Sanjeevni Mantra. Meditate on Gurudev Siyag's photo. This is the same Sanjeevni Mantra about which many years ago Maharshi Aurobindo said that it is a secret and mystic mantra and not yet revealed. On which part of the body should one meditate? Our sages have divided the human body into two parts. The first part consists of nine openings. They are the eyes, ears, nose, mouth, etc. These nine doors open towards the world. The second part consists of the tenth door. It is the Agya Chakra, the third eye. This eye opens within. One should meditate on the third eye spot. By chanting the Sanjeevni Mantra, takes control of the body, life force, mind, and intellect of the practitioner and induces yogic movements during meditation. Yogic movements can be in the form of asan, mudra, band, pranayam, and many more. These automatic yogic movements free the seeker from all kinds of diseases. By this spiritual practice, a seeker is freed from addictions too. You don't have to quit alcohol, cigarettes, or drugs. Instead, these things will leave you on their own due to the end of demands from within by the change of tendencies. By chanting the Sanjeevni Mantra, a seeker experiences intoxicating joy and bliss. A seeker acquires intuitive knowledge and can see and hear unlimited past and future during the meditative state. Gurudev Siyag's Siddha Yoga 
takes the seeker to the pinnacle of spiritual evolution, leading to liberation. The objective of Gurudev Syag Siddhi is the divine transformation of mankind. For Shaktipad initiation, listen to the Sanjeevni वो आपका शरीर प्राण मन और बुद्धि अपने कंट्रोल में कर लेंगे और ऑटोमेटिकली योग होगा आप चाहोगे तो नहीं होगा जिस अंग में कुछ गड़बड़ है उसको टोन अप करेगी कुंडलनी स्टिमुलेट करेगी और जब तक वो ठीक नहीं हो जाए योग होता रहेगा निर्गुण निराकार और सगुण साकार दोनों शक्तियों का मुझे साक्षात्कार हो गया सिद्धि प्राप्त हो गई इस प्रकार दोनों सिद्धियां होने के कारण से मेरी तस्वीर से योग होना शुरू हो गया यह अचंबा आज तक नहीं हुआ तो इस प्रकार आपको केवल नाम जपना है और ध्यान करना है और मुझे यहां देखना है मंत्र एक ही गुरु का चलेगा और ध्यान मेरा करना पड़ेगा उसके बाद में आपकी छुट्टी अगर मुझ में कुछ गुंजाइश है तो काम अभी शुरू हो जाएगा मैं आपको अब आपसे खुद से इंट्रोडक्शन करूंगा आप क्या हो आप शरीर नहीं हो ये आत्मा है आत्मा अजर अमर है तो मंत्र है क्लिंग कृष्ण क्लिंग क्लिंग कृष्ण क्लिंग तो इसको जपना है राउंड दिख रो तो किसी बीमारी से ग्रसित हो इससे ठीक हो जाएगा आप अच्छा अब ध्यान करो भाई पंद्रह मिनट यहां मुझे देखो और नाम जब चालू रखो कोई प्रकार की योग क्रिया हो तो घबराए कर नहीं पंद्रह मिनट ध्यान करो पंद्रह मिनट में अपना Meditation. Sit comfortably facing any direction and look at Gurudev Siag's picture for a while. Then close your eyes and pray to Gurudev to help you meditate for 15 minutes. Now, while focusing on Gurudev Siag's image at the third eye spot, mentally chant the sanjeevni mantra without moving the lips or tongue if you experience any kind of yogic movements during meditation let them happen they cleanse the body from all kinds of afflictions and clear the pathway for spiritual progress try this and experience a whole new world स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर गुरुदेव श्री राम लाल सियाग बिकॉज ऑफ हिम वी आर कंडक्टिंग दिस सेशन एंड बिकॉज एंड हिज गेस इज रनिंग थ्रू अस and uh, as we have we are con- we are continually saying from this platform that it is the uh, guru syak sit yoga is a boon for entire mankind and we should follow this uh, yoga for the overall in- uh, improvement of our being our, of our self there is a pe- there is a peace or there is a kingdom of god within us which can be reached and accessed through Uh, only uh, by following this gssy guru syak sid yoga the method of meditation and practice of following this is a very simple it is already described in the video and we are uh, saying those things uh, throughout the sessions 
um, in the past sessions also today in the session we will discuss uh, about the um, about the impact of gurudev siak uh, gurudev siak's voice uh we would discuss this topic in today's uh, session and we would request everyone to join this session and uh, discuss about the uh, impact of gurudev's voice as uh, if i recollect gurudev always says uh, uh, you have to carry my voice with 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 it when gurudev uh, we 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 listen mantra in his voice and gurudev says that you have to carry this voice the voice has the weight in our indian philosophy it is also explained uh, it is also stated that uh, whenever guru initiates um, a disciple uh, through a mantra maybe it's a vedic mantra or maybe it's uh, the name of the divine lord he initiates he 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 gives his mantra through through his voice why it is given or what why it is in the tradition because the voice of the guru has the impact here in our case uh, gurudev Uh, is guru our gurudev ram lal siag and his voice carries the weight and we have to uh, listen to his voice more and more for our overall spiritual development and and uh, for me if i uh, think uh, gurudev uh, that's why we we, uh, we 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 always ask ask people to hear his speech more and more uh, so that his uh, divine voice enters in our being and our spiritual progress uh, speeds up and this is why we suggest uh, everyone for listening gurudev in siak's speech it is available in our website and also in the uh, youtube channels our website is uh, www.thecomforter.org and simultaneously in the website you will find the link of uh, gurudev siak's uh, or uh, youtube channel and from there you listen to all the uh videos of gurudev siag and you find uh, actual what the philosophy of gurudev siag is and relating to uh, listening to gurudev's voice if you see if uh, if you are suffering from some uh, kind of mental disease you uh, are not able to concentrate uh, concentrate on uh, the following the path which is given just uh, like, like chanting the mantra etc uh you you we 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 suggest him to listen more and more his voice more and more his audio or video his speech so that his voice who they always says the voice is coming from this enlightened enlightened body and that's why it has the weight and it has the power uh, to rouse uh, 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 to raise your kundalini power to uh, to speed up your spiritual journey uh, and also uh if uh, one important thing recently uh, you, you, uh, many of the seeker experience this thing uh, in the night when we go to sleep what we do generally we just run or uh, run the audio speech or video speech of gurudev siag and those who are suffering from insomnia not getting sleep and they easily get the sleep so it's also a kind of a healing impact you will receive so from this platform uh, we request the entire humanity in the mankind to listen to our on uh, our gurudev's speech more and more and you, there are many people who are suffering from ins- insomnia they can't even sleep you just listen to our gurudev's voice in the night and you will uh, uh, this my personally i experience i forgot even to switch off the mobile mobile keeps on going and i <laughs> slept uh, this is the power of our gurudev siak and i request others to also uh, uh, join on this topic pankaj ji guruvai please uh, say something on this topic jai gurudev then muthu rama swami guruvai is also there he will also say jai, jai gurudev guruvai jai gurudev everyone so uh, vicky ji has said rightly that uh, gurudev has received two kinds of siddhis sagun sakar and nirgun nirakar both siddhis have been attained by gurudev so his body and his voice has become divine and uh, empowered and whoever listens to his voice he gets positivity and uh, you know the negative tendencies starts getting subsided gurudev says that he has set out alone to subside negative tendencies negative powers in the world and to empower the positivity in the world 
So same thing happens by listening his voice as well. However, I would strongly recommend that first and foremost effort should be for the chanting of the mantra. So first you get the mantra and then start chanting the mantra. That is the far most uh, important thing that we should be doing. And the second thing you can, you know, in case you are unable to chant the mantra or you would like to get associated with Gurudev, you know, throughout the day or maybe uh, maybe some somebody's patient, he is not able to put his right effort. Then, then we have second options like listening to Gurudev's speeches and seeing his photograph. So these two additional activities also bring change, changes in the physical body. And it's all about, you know, with what uh, it's all about the way of approach, how you are approaching Gurudev, how much surrendered you are, how much serious you are about this uh, process is obviously is another important uh, aspect of this entire philosophy. So whenever we do anything in our physical life also, whatever we are serious for, there only we get the result. Same, same thing applies here as well. So <clears throat> Gurudev's voice is divine and uh, you know, it brings changes as well in, in your body. When you say it, what all changes? So, you know, uh, we as a human body, you know, we have human body with us and its objective is to awaken the Kundalini power and, you know, start her journey towards the Sesara Chakra. That is the center of the head. So, in this journey, we experience a lot of uh, changes in our body and in our, you know, thoughts and in our feelings. Everywhere you will, you will see the changes. Side by, we will also be uh, going through the purification of 72,000 veins in our body. So, you know, it's a kind of you know, before we say that we are going for a completion, our body is going for a divinity, we have to attain the purity as well. So when we say changes in your body, you will see a different, uh, you know, positivity in your thoughts, in your feeling, and in your, you know, the and you know you will feel a, a different kind of enthusiasm in in your in your daily activities so these are the changes you may experience as an you know visible uh, external effect you can say side by in your internal also you will be getting different kind of uh, uh, kind of purifications of maybe upliftment of Kundalini and those things may also experience by this, um, this divine process. So that's, that's what I would like to say that the very important thing is chanting the mantra. Second, if you can chant the mantra in Gurudev's divine voice, that is also good. You know, you can try for that. The third thing is listening to Gurudev's speeches and seeing his photograph. So these these all all the things will make you a positive impact in your daily routine and in your um, this journey. With these, uh, I would like to thanks Jai Gurudev. Yes, yes, yes. Jai Gurudev, thank you, Pankaj Gurudev. Uh, and one more important thing Gurudev always says that uh, uh, you have to uh, uh, carry this voice also. Why? Uh, if, if you are uh, giving the mantra to somebody else, the mantra should be given or the mantra should be heard in the 
divine voice of gurudev siyad only then uh, your kundalini power gets uh, initiated uh, activated you get initiation otherwise if you read the mantra uh, by your own uh, without listening from uh, from uh, gurudev's voice it will not work the most important thing is that if you want initiation so you have to listen the mantra in gurudev's voice only so whenever we suggest someone uh, uh, yes. and ask, ask yes that to, is uh, yes yes guru bhai that is also important uh, point to be noted that the initiation or the shakti pad diksha can be given only in gurudev's voice it cannot be received by any other means so because it's a it's how guru transfer his energy to the disciple a master a master can you know transfer his powers in five ways by touch by vision by word and um, by wish his wish and there is a fifth uh, process in which the role of disciple becomes more important in our indian philosophy we have ekalavya and uh, we have uh, kabir das who who had uh, kind of uh, who were very much uh, devoted to their gurus and uh, they you know they were great disciples they did, so they took it rather guru gap them so in these are the method of uh, where guru transfers his energy to the disciple and gurudev's uh, gurudev transfer it via the word the word he gives the word so you know uh, and then you need to recite it mentally in your heart and it is wonderful if you recite that in his voice only but if you are not able to recite in his voice that's perfectly fine you can recite in your own own voice as well but it has to be listened for the first time in gurudev's voice only that is only where you will get the shakti path initiation Jai Guru Bhai. Yes, let us uh, uh, ask. Uh, let us hear something from Muthurama Swami Guru Bhai. Uh, if he has any experience to share in this platform, he is welcome. Jai Guru Dev Guru Bhai. Uh, Jai Guru Dev. Um, I have been meditating since September last year without fail, twice a day. Yes. Even when I was traveling, I still meditated. even in the hotel i was meditating so not even once i missed it and i find that uh, i'm much more calmer very calm and previously i had a uh, phobia uh particularly on this um you wouldn't believe this um but it is true that um i did undergo some kind of like a uh, uh kind of like a white magic it's known as white magic where um uh, i do not know how to express it but i did undergo that experience that was many years back that was about 30 years ago it was very strong where someone was trying to control my mind uh mentally and that some or other because of that due to that i developed the the, the fear you know of because i wasn't able to face it because my energy was quite low and when this person or when these people they were trying to use the spiritual means uh to achieve whatever they want to uh which was, which was quite negative you know which is not a positive energy it's negative energy i couldn't resist it 
I couldn't fight back. And well, even though I live in Malaysia, um, it's a modern city, but I was working in a rural area before. Not in, because Malaysia is divided into two, West Malaysia and East Malaysia. From West Malaysia, you have, if you want to go to East Malaysia, you have to, you have to, you, you have to go by flight. And that area in East Malaysia is uh, less developed. You know, that's where they, they are involved in all these things, you know, occult, occult practices. So, some or other, I developed this fear in all this because I, my energy level was very low. I couldn't yes, fight. Somebody, yes, somebody else is controlling you in a negative exactly. way. Hmm. Exactly. Because, yeah. because when you are in a position, people will be very nice to you. I mean, at a, uh, at a face value, it's okay. But they are also involved in some other matters for them to achieve certain things, you know, by using me, which some or other, I, I, I didn't want it at all. And when I, re when I resisted, I couldn't resist it fully because my energy level became very low. And some or other, I left that place immediately. But that was disturbing me for many years, you know, why I couldn't fight back. Because my energy was very low, and their energy, because they were, they were operating like in a big group, and I was alone. I couldn't fight back. So that developed that kind of a phobia. But after doing this meditation, some or other, nowadays I feel that I could have faced it. You know, I could have faced the situation. I'm very brave now. Mentally, even though physically, outwardly, I'm different. But when it comes to the mental aspect, uh, I couldn't. The spiritual side, I guess, you know, because they use some kind of pranic energy. They can, I do not know the technique. Really, I do not know the technique. They use certain kind of pranic energy that goes into you. And once this pranic energy enters you, you start uh, behaving or start talking or start expressing according to what they want. Yes. So this is more like a cult, you know. Even in any cult organization, you have this. But, you know, they they just become like a zombie. So some or other something within me was resisting. But even though I could resist it, but not fully. I couldn't, I couldn't fight back. So that thought was with me for so many years. And after doing this uh, meditation and all, uh, I find that it's slowly going off. It's slowly going off, and I feel that I'm very strong now. And I was wondering if I had gone through that situation now, I could have fought back mentally. So that is my experience. I feel much more calmer. Yeah. And, uh, sometimes I feel that, you know, when I get in touch with people, uh, like this morning, I was talking to someone, I could feel that the person has a very good vibration. And I could feel it at my heart chakra, you know. There was a very nice feeling of sharing of this energy. So I could also start, I have also started feeling it. So these are my experiences. Yeah. And I'm much more confident. My self-esteem has really developed at a very high level. And, um, and I find that one more thing I find that previously I couldn't handle. Nowadays I find that when there is a problem, I could see it like a human drama, emotional drama. I do not get involved in the human drama. I feel like, what is this going on? Huh? Like a movie, you know, like a, like a soap opera. Or, you know, like, um, you know, when we watch TV, right, they have a lot of dramas. Uh, so I, I feel that it's just a drama. And I, f I, I find that it's just letting out their emotions, you know. And they're emotional, that's all. And I find that previously I used to get into that emotional level. And I used to get, I also would get involved in it. But nowadays, no, I've already some or rather, I've transcended above it. And I find that, hey, what is going on? Huh? And I find that it's very funny. 
is just human character which i couldn't face it those days but nowadays i think to certain extent i find that when people behave in a very strange manner within me i find that i'm very calm yes i'm very much happy to hear all these things from you all the thanks and praises to our spiritual master gurudev sri ramlal syag he has given you freedom from that those occult supernatural powers and he has uh, made you what you are what the inner peace is there ha huh? you gurudev is there to liberate you from all the bondings and to reach you the divine bliss and that is happening within you and one thing you have uh, say, said uh, said that you are experiencing that you are watching like a scene of the world gurudev says that uh, once you start this mental chanting and this uh, sadhana practice the uh, the layer of that illusory world will go weaken day and day by and day and day and night huh? you will find that this power of maya power of maya is weakening before you huh? then only you will realize uh, you will uh, you will uh, give up the you will uh, the fear of death will go away from you that is only the case by chanting the mantra by following the sadhana you will attain a stage where your all worldly bondage will go weaken day by day and ultimately at that time you will uh, you will wait for the death you come and bless me i want to be complete i want to be uh, i want to merge myself to the infinite a stage will come if, uh, if we try from this uh, it will not happen because we are so much emotionally involved with the world but by chanting the mantra and by doing this sadhana you will attain that stage gurudev always says huh? then you will wait for the death you come and bless me i will want to merge with the uh, divinity huh? this is the divine stage <laughs> it comes by following the mantra for following the practice not by our mental thinking by reading the books you, you won't uh, attain that stage where you will find bliss in embracing the death okay <laughs> and one more thing i find uh, is yeah. that some people some or rather they are normal people they are very normal people but some or rather uh they behave very strangely in front of me very strange behavior you know but to others they are very normal but to me they are very strange some or rather probably i'm chanting the mantra and all that it triggers them it triggers them you know to misbehave or behave in a very strange manner i think it was like i do not understand at all and i was very calm i'm very calm all the time and i'm just observing them and i find that wow what is this something like a mental behavior you know emotional mental and all those things you know i was really surprised why towards me and only then i realized that probably because i'm clearing all the negativity some people just they just couldn't stand it probably they are full of negativity they couldn't stand it and the moment they see me they 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 act very strangely not all the time but i've come across this in two or three cases yes. and it's very strange yes it's all the play of energies uh, you are filled with the positive energy somebody else may be filled with negative energy and they will get a uh, when a repulsion from you or they may behave strangely it's all energy if you see this physical body gurudev says says that when he attained the gayatri sidri suddenly he found that his whole body is for taking the divine form the form of energy uh, at that time gurudev says that uh, we are taking this physical body actually it is not the physical body it is one energy is given this shape of this physical body you just go back one step within you you will find that your body is uh, created with energy <laughs> okay you will experience this thing but by not by words by following this practice <laughs> okay you will uh, attain that divine form it's all the play of energies positive and negative energies in the world mm. and also one more thing that i found out is mm. uh nowadays i don't really um uh i'm a vegetarian 
and and nowadays I find that you know like I don't go to certain places and even if I were to go I have no choice I have to go I'm very strong about it you know and I feel that people can't convince me anymore some or other I'm exuberating certain kind of energy and they some or other can read it you know they can read it you know uh, okay fine you whatever whatever you want to eat you go ahead oh. i can just sit there and you can do whatever but you can't convince me anymore i'm very strong you know all these things coming slowly it's coming you know and because in malaysia most of them because we are not the, the uh, not all of them are, because we have many races and most of them are non vegetarian most of them are not vegetarian at all so when you want to go for any functions and all that i have no issue at all i can just sit there okay fine i can have a glass of water i can drink and whatever they want to do is up to them they they are, they they can't influence me or convince me at all and i wow. because of that i can adjust myself in any situation Yes, that's I can the adjust problem. myself in any situation, but I can be the way I am. At the same time, uh, I can get along with them. Wow, wonderful, wonderful! The change of tend- tendencies is going within you. Uh, you are becoming more confident with positive positivity and positive energy. That is, <laughs> the- hmm. we are. This is the divine transformation, and transformation in the sense that the negative energy. will not be able to dominate you that is the transformation that is the divine transformation mm. yes you are experiencing this thing <laughs> okay <laughs> very nice experience <laughs> keep on doing this sadhana all the credit goes to our divine master gurudev ram lal syag because of him it is happening otherwise uh, these uh, these uh, these uh, uh, abilities won't come to us if we uh, simply chant the mantra etc for ages we follow any practice you won't attain this one it's only the powerful mystic sanjeevani mantra is there and there the grace of uh, our gurudev is there that's where we we are experiencing these things very easily and very instantly mm. yes one more thing i would like to ask actually i did send a message to you uh, let's say for example early in the morning i i do meditation early in the morning the moment i wake up i do meditation but uh, how about drinking water no no there is no problem you can even take tea <laughs> take tea no, and I, I drink water after that do meditation no, you 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 can drink water and then do meditation there is no restriction you may have some liquid ha huh? there is no restriction just like we in the indian culture we do we will do fasting and then worship the god then we will take tea or water etc here yeah. there is no restriction at all ha huh? gurudev is yeah. very <laughs> benevolent very generous very gracious there is no you drink water and then sit for meditation there is no problem at all hmm. no problem at all limit okay. no limit because normally i would like to drink three glasses of water early in the morning no problem no problem. no problem at all and yes. uh, only do not do meditation by taking any solid things hmm Oh no, yes. solid. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Clear about it. And then one more thing is that um, I find that uh, when I interact, when I interact with um, the followers, like for example, you and others, I find that I'm gaining. I I feel that I'm receiving more uh, energy. Yes, you you will find charged up. You will find that suddenly your power uh, voltage is up by one hundred percent. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it happens to all of us. Uh, the more we discuss about Guru Dev's philosophy and about Guru Dev, uh, or even uh, interact with Guru Dev's philosophy, uh, if you, uh, Guru Dev says that uh, when you discuss my philosophy, hmm, you get connected with me. Uh, at that time. you won't speak i will speak that energy gets connected with us that's why we become full of energy we charge we feel charged up hmm. this is his uh, grace that comes up by discussing oh. uh, his philosophy hmm. 
we are we, we are just recording these sessions for the uh, benefit of the mankind for the spread of gurudev's mission huh? so we are we are just helping to spread the gurudev's mission and when we do these things gurudev gets connected with us his energy gets connected with his energy get activated if you find that energy who can uh, ignite who can raise the kundalini power of lakhs of people in a second you just sit uh, make him sit before him and the kundalini power is rising so that energy I gets really wished, you know previously you had a session in bangalore right yes there was a session in bangalore but i didn't know about it if i had known at least about two or three weeks earlier i would have yeah. booked a flight and would have flown to bangalore or chennai okay okay and from the next time if there is there, there is some sessions going on in bangalore etc or chennai uh, we or we have uh, groups we will share the groups uh, you will find uh, the many good disciples there uh, you will find a positive vibrations there uh, yeah, because find... i would like to interact physically as well yes 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 okay <laughs> Okay, nice experience things today happen by you, uh, and we are running sort of today's session. Uh, we uh, conclude today's session by praying to our beloved Guru Dev and thanking to him for his grace to us. Jai Guru Dev to everyone. Jai Guru Dev. We will meet next Sunday on um, the same time. Jai Guru Dev. Jai Guru Dev.